Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another VeChain price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the VeChain chart which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We are also trying to battle out with a key area of resistance at around the 0.02436 dollar mark and a break above that key area of resistance then I'll be watching for a successful retest of that key area of resistance and once the retest is in and a success then we can continue gearing up and continue unlocking even higher prices. We have also continued to obey the ADO 12 structures where we had been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of these larger ADO 12 count 2 in a move that also managed to get into the minimum retracement area which lies between the 0.02411 dollar mark and the 0.01917 dollar mark in a move that gave us a low at around the 0.01954 dollar Mark. And I believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of these higher ADO 12 count 3 that we expect after seeing the formation of a larger ADO 12 count 2 which has now bottomed out within this blue target area down here. And before I get further into the technical analysis and also sketch out my target areas to the upper side in the formation of these larger ADO 12 count 3, first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first give you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that after making our lower low down there we started these massive bounds to the upper side of being the ADO 12 structures where you can see that I have this ADO 12 structure in red having the wave 5 giving us a picket around the 0.3251 dollar mark and after seeing the formation of that wave 5 we completed an even larger ADO 12 count 1 to the upper side and after seeing the formation of a larger ADO 12 count 1 whatever we expected next was a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of a larger ADO 12 count 2 and using the Fibonacci is connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gave me a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of that larger ADO 12 count 2 between the Fib level 0.5 and the Fib level 0.78 which is a target area that we have now fully maximized and I believe we have now bottomed out in the formation of that wave 2 and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of this impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that with three by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that with one then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that with three at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.04711 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect that higher ADO 12 count 3 to the upper side to do and because of the impulsive nature in the formation of that higher ADO 12 count 3 I'm also expecting to see a five wave structure information having the wave five fully maximizing our target areas and also giving us the high for that higher ADO 12 count 3 to the upper side and I believe we are seeing such a scenario here on the one hour chart so jumping to the one hour chart for further analysis and also give you the micro ADO 12 count that we expect in the formation of that larger ADO 12 count 3 to the upper side here on the one hour chart you can see that after seeing our low in the formation of that with 2 we saw these massive bounce to the upper side in a move that has now given us a peak at around the 0.025 three seven dollar mark and by first giving you a measure from this low down here you can see that the market is up by more than 29.97 percent which is a very nice bounce to the upper side and getting to the ADO 12 structures you can see that after making our low in the formation of that with two we saw this one to set up to the upper side so I can term this I can name that as a one to set up having that as the wave one then we saw a corrective structure in the formation of that with two and after seeing the one to set up we started this ADO 12 structure to the upper side having that as the first wave to the upper side then we saw a corrective structure in the formation of that wave 2 we have now picked in the formation of that wave 3 at around the 0.02537 dollar mark and whatever we are seeing over here was a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 4 and using the Fibonacci is connecting them from the low of the second wave to the high of that wave 3 that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 4 between the Fib level 0.382 and the Fib level 0.5 which is a target area that we fully 
maximized and right now we are seeing a bit of a reaction to the upside in the formation of that with five and that means i'm expecting one more leg up here on the v chain chart in the formation of that with five and for that move to also play out i'm expecting to see a break above that key area of resistance at around the 0.02436 dollar mark and the moment you manage to break above that expect a retest before we can continue gearing up so that we can fully maximize our target areas to the upside in the formation of this wave 5 and sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 5 by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that with one then dragging the fibs to the high of that with three that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that with five having my first target at the fib level 0 0.618 and that is at around the 0 0.02685 dollar mark in the moment we manage to fully maximize that target area here on the charts then that will mean that we might have now picked in the formation of that with five and also completed the formation of these larger edge to have count one to the upper side and the moment we fully maximize that target area to the upper side then i'll be expecting a bit of a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of a larger edge to have count two so whatever i'll be expecting after picking in the formation of this first wave is a corrective structure in the formation of that larger edge to have count two and this will be mostly triggered by people taking profits once we fully maximize our target areas to the upper side in the formation of that with five and that the moment once that plays out then i'll be able to sketch out target areas to the lower side in the formation of that higher edge to have count to so for now continue watching our key area of resistance at around the 0 0.02436 dollar mark because a break above it could trigger higher prices to give us the high for that with five and also fully maximize our larger edge to have count one to the upper side before we can expect a corrective structure in the formation of that with two so that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and getting back to the four hour chart to take a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 62 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices also taking a look at the macd we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices in the formation of that with five and also in the formation of these larger edge to have count three that i'm expecting here on the long-term scenarios so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated